Hey guys, just thought I'd give you another little look at what we've got going on here. Isn't it beautiful? Ballistics gelatin. You gotta love it. You gotta love it. Gotta hate making it, but you gotta love it. Anyway, we got another shoot coming up. We did one last year. It was a blast. Pun intended, by the way. This year we're doing another one, and guess who gets to make it? So I'm down in the basement doing a little mixture here. So got a couple I got to do up here. So first one I'm doing right now, I'm just getting the water warm. I got 16 cups of water in this pan. Right now, I'm just letting it get a little on the warm side. Not too hot, not cold, not boiling. Right now, it's cold, so it's going to be a little bit. Get it warmed up, and then I got to put 16 ounces of that bad boy disgusting fat in there. Because that's all it is, is animal fat. I'm going to get that in there. This is going to be in a bunch of different parts, because this shit takes forever. But it is well worth it, because... It's a hell of a lot of fun. So anyway, I'll be getting back to you guys here shortly on the next step. Okay, we got the water getting there. It's, it's, it's almost there, I wouldn't say. Lukewarm. Like I said, you don't want it hot, you don't want it boiling. Yeah, wouldn't bathe in it yet, but the gel's going through here in a minute. Just another little quick thing. Uh, you, you see a lot of people saying to put like cinnamon and shit like that in ballistics gel. They say it keeps it from foaming. Well, cinnamon's not a defoamer. But it's to keep the smell down. Um, but I don't like that it turns it red. So what I use is vanilla extract. And it's the clear stuff from McCormick. It doesn't matter where it's from. And it's what I've used every time I make this stuff. And... I don't have a problem with foaming or anything like that, so I don't know why people would. But anyway, that's what I use. I keep the smell, so it smells like I'm making something vanilla, like vanilla gelatin, I guess. It beats the hell out of the regular smell, because the regular smell is shitty. So, here in just a minute, I'm going to be putting in my 16 ounces of gel. So right now, I'm still waiting on the water to get there. It's getting close. I could probably start doing it now, but... I have a little method I like to, to keep doing it the same way because my gel turns out perfect every time and we love doing it. So, get right back to you guys. Okay, we're about ready to add the gel here. I think my water is just about there. That's lukewarm. Lukewarm, a little bit, a little bit warmer. It really don't matter. Like I said, it's you just need to get a little warm. That's that's the whole point here. And what you want to do is just add this stuff very, very slow. And this is the very, very boring part. You just sprinkle a little in and just keep stirring. You don't want to whisk it in. You just stir it. And like I said, this, this part takes a while and it gets clumpy and very boring so I got to keep keep the heat low you don't want it too hot um, I'm about at a medium low I know you can't see it right now because I can't grab the camera but that's basically what we got going so let me finish putting all this in and I'll show you how ugly it looks all right well here we are got all the got all the gel powder in there been in there for I don't know about an hour I guess uh, just letting it do its thing so a few minutes here I'm gonna take it out you can see just see that's not much I mean you you're gonna get a little tiny bit of foam but that's gonna go away as it cools down so don't worry about that kind of stuff plus you're gonna be reheating this so it's not a big deal a lot of people are freaking out about foam so anyway that's what you're looking at and I got it on about medium low. That's, you know, temperature enough that you can touch, you know, I can touch the side of this. It's not like super hot. I don't have a thermometer so I can get an exact reading for you. It's just, this is the way I do it and it works great. So, anyway, this is where we're at so far. I'm going to take this off here in about two or three minutes. And I'm going to go ahead and put it in the fridge. And I'm going to put it in the fridge for a few hours. 
maybe overnight, I don't know, and then I'm going to reheat it tomorrow, uh, or in a couple hours if I'm still up cleaning stuff, uh, messing around with the guns or whatever I'm going to end up doing tonight. So anyway, just thought I'd let you know, this is the next step. I forgot to bring up something else, so that's the only reason I came back on here real quick. You can actually make this stuff in five gallon buckets with lukewarm water. Get yourself a big drill with uh, what they call a paint you know, mixer uh, or a mortar mixer. Uh, I've done it with a paint mixer. I've never done it with a mortar mixer, but it's, it's, it's basically the same thing. And it's going to cause a lot of foam, but you don't have to worry about the foam. If you're filling up your mold to the very top, then you just cut the foam off when it's done. I'm sure you've all seen like Mythbusters and stuff like that. And they're sitting there with that paint mixer and they're going, Burr! you know, and they're pouring it into that little dummy. Well, they're not showing you the behind the scenes where they're filling that dummy all the way up to the very top and the foam just pours over the sides. And then they throw it in the cooler. So there's going to be foam. It, you know, like I said, that's my foam. It, it's not much. Like I said, it's going to dissipate as it sits here and cools. And I'm not worried about it to begin with because I still got to reheat this and pour it in the mold. So, you can, like I said, you can make this stuff a couple different ways. You can do it the way I, I just showed you, um, which is, you know, gradually put it in, spoon it, you know, heat it, and then reheat it and pour it into whatever mold you're going to do. You can do it that way if you want, or you can do it and. And just one step. Um, I found out though, I, I did it last year. Yeah, it was last year, not the year before. It was last year I did it in this step. I did it this way, and I found out that the gel was a lot better this way. It was, um, if you shoot the BB in, you're only supposed to go so many centimeters or whatever. This way is a little bit truer. Um, like I said, this is not scientific at all. This is just for fun, and, and basically all I'm showing is the difference in rounds. I mean, I can shoot in the water, you know, I can shoot in the mud and show you what a hollow point does. It's just a lot funner doing it this way. And then last year, you know, I don't know why we didn't have cameras, whatever reason. I mean, we had cameras, but we were taking pictures of everything. And we were a big photo bucket people last year, but this year I, I thought, what the hell, man, get out the damn video camera and let's video this stuff I mean this this shit's cool and it's neat and it shows expansion of different rounds and in a more truer state than it will be shooting in the you know a 55 gallon drum of water or shooting in the mud or shooting in the clay I can shoot in anything you guys want me to shoot into you know I hell I can shoot into a 2x4 what's that gonna show you we're, we're, basically this is all for fun and like I said that little bit's gonna go away. I got the temperature back to normal. Smells like vanilla cookies in here. We'll talk to you guys later. Okay, took it out of the the fridge, put it back on the stove. Basically, we just got it liquidy again. Just got it all melted down. You know, it's ready to be able to pour into the mold. Uh, I use these little cheap ass shoe boxes you can pick them up at Lowe's they're like a dollar fifty they're perfect molds and you want to spray the inside of your mold with like Pam something like that so it doesn't stick some kind of non-stick whatever you want to use for that you pour it in there put it in the fridge at least 24 hours I got a couple days so it'll sit in there for a couple days and then I get to make another batch fun 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 and then you just slowly pour it into your mold which would be that shoe box I showed you guys. You want to pour it kind of slow so you don't get any air bubbles in there, but don't put it in the fridge like right away. Just give it a couple minutes and those bubbles will dissipate. It's no big deal. So back in the fridge it goes until it's time to blow it to hell. And when you're all done, it's been in the fridge for a couple days, you got yourself some fun gel to play with. So that'll come right out of there because I greased it. I got four of these made. So, now we gotta do is just enjoy the fruits of our labor. See you guys.